Hello everybody. It's been a long time since I put a video out on the channel. I I do apologize and I I I hope uh you're you're doing well. If you're still watching the channel, God bless you and uh, you know, I hope we're all growing and learning in Jesus and all that jazz. We're just going to go about it, you know? We're going to do our best to stand for Jesus and scripture and do it correctly and we're not going to we don't promote Catholicism, Calvinism, Lutheranism, anything else like that. We're all about Jesus here, okay? So this this video is in response to a sermon that I heard recently uh, regarding being a, uh, I guess, fruit inspector. The the preacher was like, you know, if you claim to be a Christian, I want to see some fruit, that sweet fruit. And they, they go to this verse, which is uh, on the screen. Is that big enough? I'll make it. I'll make it bigger for you. Huh? You see that right there? Okay. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Go up just a little bit. Just a little bit right here. That's all you need to do to clear that up. That's 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 it. Beware false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are re re revining, revening, re ravening, ravening wolves, ravening. Ravening wolves. They're vicious wolves. This verse that is often used by preachers and teachers and religious people. To, you'll you'll know a Christian because they're fruit. And that's, then they'll go to this verse. This verse is about false teachers. And the book of Matthew was written to the Jewish audience. And this 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 is this is to teach them the, the false teacher from the correct teacher. So the thing about seeds and planting all that stuff is seeds take time. But imagine if I come to you and I got seeds and they're all different kinds, but they all look exactly the same, okay? They all look exactly the same. The only way to know for sure that all those seeds are going to produce uh, the fruit that, that the seed seller is, is, is telling me, if I don't have any... any, any uh, foundational knowledge of, of what those seeds are supposed to look like so I know what plant comes from the seed because the seed, you know, looks the specific way. If I don't have any of that information, the only way I could tell is when that plant grows and I can see if it produces something of value or not. That's what this verse is about. And to kind of explain it a little bit more, maybe look at it, you know, in a different way, often when preachers or, or I shouldn't say often, I don't know, I know in my case, uh, the the preacher that said it, proper spirit. It, he he it, it was it was he was trying to promote growth, which is a good thing. But there is a massive difference between believing the gospel and then following the giver of that gospel. Okay, it's it's like it's like okay, I believe the lesson. Now I'm gonna follow the teacher. The the whole fruit thing that that other pastors and religious people want to look. At, you know, and, and judge you for, understand that Jesus atoned for the sins of the world, okay? Now, you take that information and you do with it what you will, <laughs> but know that his grace covers everything. You don't walk around looking at a person who says, oh, I'm a Christian, and, and you're like, oh, I don't see their fruit, okay? Because you yourself are not a fruit inspector because you yourself don't even know what an adequate amount of fruit is in your own life. And if you don't know the adequate amount of fruit is for your life, you have no right to look at other believers and say, oh, this isn't an adequate amount of fruit in, in their life, so they need to step it up a little bit. That is complete religious garbage. Cactus so when they when they go to this verse, all you have to do is just go to the verse right above it. That is all you have to do, and it'll clear that up for you, because it's about false teachers. Okay, it's not about believers looking at each other and picking at each other. It has nothing at all to do with that. You don't plant poison ivy and then use it. To make hand lotion. Okay. Remember, we look to Jesus, his work, his atonement. Every seed has a purpose. <laughs> so 
God bless you. We're going to have more videos like this. Uh, you know, just easy going stuff. Um, any questions or, you know, discussions or anything as, as we learn and grow and, and, and learn Aletheia. Um, thank you so much. God bless you. Um, have a good day.